That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. It's not so bad here. The weather will be better in spring. We should wait. Or we could just drive. The further south we get, the higher the temperature goes up. We'll be sweating in no time. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. We ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get her really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. Proud of you, Clem. Yeah, I like this. Driving is fun. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket. The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. AJ's a survivor. He knows making too much noise will only get him killed. But he's a kid. Kids shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. <sighs> Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! anything. Th that's good. No. Clem, I don't feel anything. I can't feel my legs. I just can't get up. God damn it! Oh my god, no. This isn't happening. This isn't happening! Uh, let me try again. Shit. Shit! Hey! Hey! Stay away from him! You gotta go help AJ Clem. I ain't letting you watch those fuckers chew me up. Go Clem. Now! AJ will be safe with me. I'll take great care of him. I promise. I know you will, Clementine. I wouldn't trust AJ with anybody else. Now, go! Hey, dipshits! Come and get it!
Sun's up. <sighs> Trip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Trip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. Not that he's weird about it or anything. I just know he likes having me around. I gotta say, I think you can do a lot better than that, meathead. Are you being serious? You know what I mean. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? God, you're safe. I can't believe it. You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. Then I heard your voice. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh, no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Ariana, stay back. Wait! Nobody shoots. He's right. We fire at the truck, we might hit them. get a pass <sighs> I wanted to come after you I swear I did you don't have to snot all over my shirt about it I thought we were dead like never gonna see you again dead we only had a couple bullets left there's no way I would let that happen yeah well you weren't here the herd showed up and Mariana was gone and we were waiting and, and waiting and then I was just so scared I'm here now you don't have to be scared Hey, you hurt yourself. Must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push our luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? 
Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruney. You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Sort of incredible. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. I'm just happy for you is all. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for cool. Thanks. 